All right, we're getting deeper and deeper into the show. I am just so excited. This one's called Storming the Shadow Palace. Let's get in there and find out some answers to the questions I've had for 100 episodes. What's up, Dapper Squad? Sorry I got so aggressive in there. I just need some answers. You know how it goes. Last episode, um, we had a fantastic end of a fight between Dorothy and Dorothy, and then Gosh and Marie, aka Druid and Eklat versus the rest of the Black Bulls. We were able to come out on top, get them back, which is awesome. So minus Finral, we have all of the Black Bulls ready to help with this impending crisis. So I'm very excited. I say we waste no more time. We're storming the Shadow Palace. Let's do it. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we're four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description, like always, for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys can see me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 113, Storming the Shadow Palace. Let's do this. Oh, is this Gweldre and Revtree? Revchi? Spatial magic from ancient times. Of course you're gonna want to go in there then. Meanwhile, they're having a five-course meal over here. Ooh, we got the double healing. Shouts out Mimosa, that's waifu. <laughs> you're embarrassing her. We're in front of my friends. They are. Uh, you did promise Sally that she can run experiments on you. Hey, a long story. Yeah. Stupid stuff. Asa is so oblivious, such a blockhead, it's so funny. She loves pulling that card with Magna specifically. Who is they? Two elves? Coming in hot? And above us? Oh, and Mary Leona? Oh, I'm so ready for this. Wagolian. Me too, Asta. Me too. Former captain of the Crimson Lions. Ah, she's ready for the smoke. Who cares? She's a monster. Oh, I love both these fire characters. Nozzle's pretty cool too, I won't lie. <laughs> I love how they have their own rivalry. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. We gotta go in the palace right now. We're on a limited time schedule. But we have two great additions to the squad. Is that Alec Dora? <laughs> no hesitation. Solid's talking. This was the needed recognition. Now we have our own internal rivalry. Yeah, that's a little respect right there. Let's go, Noel. Let's go, Noel. Bro, Salamander is so dope. You got the Vermilions flying in together. We got the Silvas flying in together. <laughs> we got the Black Wolves. <laughs> Look at this, bro. That's what I keep saying. All this shit's coming to a head like this. I've never wanted to fall on my face on concrete so bad before. Damn. Wait, is it just them? Did they all get separated? If there was ever someone I'd want to be tag teamed with in this situation, it'd be Mimosa. An elf's mana in each. All super strong. <laughs> oh. oh no.
Oh, how did I not even picture real these paintings? That makes so much sense. Hello, Lyra. But fighting real is going to be so hard. So back in the day, he had scribble magic. And now that times have evolved and magic has changed over the many hundreds of years, it's his paint magic and he's crazy. Yeah. Now we get to see all our new opponents round round two. Noel's alone. Noel versus Fauna. Fire versus water. And so we got Veto versus Okay. This is gonna be quite the fight. This is the new captain of the Purple Orcas, right? I forget his name. Lord Kaiser. Aww. That's that Fulgolian. Always so respectful and honorable. That's why he's my dog right there. This is my fucking... Ooh, that's my boy. What kind of magic does Kaiser have? Vortex magic? Ooh, already getting into the fights. I thought they would have saved him for next episode. Okay. Mariliona versus Veto? Okay. She ate that. Since fighting for a Golian, really? Reminds you of your sister? Oh, look at little Fwaggy and Mayor Leona. I can see them having some personality disputes. Are we gonna get a little flashback? Ah, uh, Teresa, the Crimson Lion got. What well, Crimson Lioness? I, it's been a long time since I've seen her. Damn. Got bigger plans. <laughs> That's one thing he won't question, his honor, you know? He does not think it's stupid being a magic knight, saving all the people, being a fucking, the amazing man that he is. Fogolian's a goat. The Tuesday of blood and flames? Oh my god, I need a day named after me like that. But Fuegolian's coming in with a mighty right hand. So is Mayor Leona. You be gone. I love this. <laughs> I love this between them. They're two of my favorite characters in this whole show, bro. I swear to God. I'm starting to get teared up. God damn. <laughs> oh my god, bro. This fucking show is too damn good. Oh my god. These episodes just keep getting better and better and better and better. And oh my lord. I can't take it anymore. I am just loving these so much. Um, The fact that we are jumping into the Shadow Palace... Well, the fact that the Black Bulls are out there dealing with the Golden Dawn while we have a select, like, Royal Knight-style squad going in there. I love that, you know? We, you know? Everyone has to play their part, do what they can in order to help out. I do like the squads that are going in. Asa, Noel, Nazel, Mimosa, Fuegolian, Mary Leona. 
Right now it's Asta and Mimosa. Noel is alone against Fauna. And then Fuegolian and Mariliona, they can handle their opponents. Not with relative ease, but with amazingness. I was going to say smarts, because it's smarts and amazingness. God damn, I love it. I love it. And it's going to be fucking Asta and Mimosa versus Rill. That's going to be a hard-ass fight to win. And then it's going to be Noel versus Fauna. I think Noel can do it, especially with her power upgrade. But it's still going to be a tough-ass fight. I love how much Fuegolian and Mary Leona, I don't, they obviously not hate each other, but how much they differ in terms of their personality, but they both excel because of that personality. Like because Fuegolian is so rigid and responsible and makes sure shit gets done when it needs to get done, that people respect him all throughout the land. Like he is one of the most respected Magic Knights there is. And because Mary Leona is so just, she's a monster. There is no one who looks down on her because of that. She opened up her own path. Like, and I love how Teresa said, she's her own style of genius. Like, you just can't, you can't work, you know, like, you, you can't help people like that. Like, she'll help herself. She'll make it. Like, she's just, she's like, she's like that. She's about that life. And I just, <laughs> I love it. Um, we got to see Kaiser's Vortex magic, which was super dope. Veto is just the physical monster that he was before. Just insane. Imagine going back in time and having Mary Leona on her side during that Veto fight. That would have been dope. That would have been that would have been real handy. But I love this episode. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys don't want to wait. Full length, all that. Four episodes ahead. Links are down in the description. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All the Dapper Darius. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.